It's your boy, Waddlebird Boy here, and today I'm bringing you guys something a little bit different. So, recently I've been playing some Pokemon Showdown, and I would like to try and see whether you guys like watching me play Pokemon Showdown, um, run down some teams that I've made, and um, see how you guys enjoy it. So I thought I'd make a video, just test it out. I hope you guys enjoy it. So, starting off, I'll show you my team. This is a team I made fairly recently. Um... So with the victory bell, um, what's he? Special attack, speed, no, nothing really special. It's got chlorophyll um, to benefit from Mega Charizard Y's um, drought ability. So that's um, that's how those two Pokemon on the team sort of balance each other out, uh, helping each other out. Strength Sap, which if you didn't know, it's a very unusual move. Um, the user heals its HP equal to the target's attack stat, and it also lowers the attack stat, attack stat by one. It's a really weird move. Not many people know about it. Um, so Sludge Bomb, Solar Beam, because there'll be Drought up, and Solar Beam, what's he, takes one turn to charge, and one, well, one turn to hit. Sleep Powder, just to put foes to sleep, um, and I can stall them. And Leftover is just there. Just like regain some more health every turn. Moving on, I'll move on to the Charizard because I touched on it earlier. Um, just normal Mega Charizard Y, Solar Beam and Dragon Pulse for coverage, Air Slash for special flying stab, and also Flamethrower. Um, because it's one hundred percent accurate. I prefer using moves that are one hundred percent accurate over moves that have uh, little accuracy or recoil. Max special attack speed, not much going on there, uh, pretty simple. Um, go on to the Exergatory, this is a um, a Hypnosis Z move, a Z Hypnosis Zergatory. So if you don't know, um, Hypnosis uses a Z move, not only puts the foe to sleep, but also boosts your attack, your attack, your speed by one, so, um, there's also Tail Glow, which increases your, um, special attack by two and a half. Um, Thunderbolt, just for that stab, and Dazzling, Dazzling Gleam for some special coverage. Beast Boost ability, of course. So, this is also a pretty generic sort of, um, setup for his Zerkatry. Z Hypnosis, very, used widely, uh, Tail Glow as well. Sometimes people use one or the other or both as I'm using today. Tapu Lele. Um, originally I had a Halucha on this team with uh, Misty Seeds to get that um, special defense up um, and some other strategy. Having a look at uh, Tapu Lele. Moonblast. Um, of course for special um, Fairy Stab. Psychic for special Psychic Stab. Uh, we've got Calm Mind and Focus Blast. Focus Blast is there for coverage. Calm Mind is just to boost special defense and special attack. Um, to make him more bulky. Because um, it can be used as a fast attacker, but relatively, most of the time, um, Tapu Lele is used uh, as a bulky, sp specially bulky Pokemon. And my leftovers there just to regain help. Um, and we have Kofagrigus here. Kofagrigus with Spell Tag, which does which increases ghost moves by 1.2 times, which is um comes in handy. Trick Room, because Kofagrigus is one of the best Trick Room users um, in the game, in the, in the, um, in Smogon. So, Trick Room, Destiny Bond, Shadow Ball for Ghost Stab, and Nasty Plot just to boost, um, special attack, because... He's not really bulky, and at the same time, he doesn't need to be fast because, um, of course, Trick Room is up. Anyway, moving on. Now, uh, Scavalier and Kofagrigus are two Pokemon that um, benefit together. So, Escavalier having Rocky Helmet and Shell Armor protecting it from crits, and also physical attackers um, get da take damage from Rocky Helmet. The Sword Dance to boost attack. Drill Run, which is just for coverage, Iron Head, and x as well, two stab moves. Having a look at the, um, I'm going to change his ability because 
to Brave just to minus speed because the less speed he has, the better. Um, because of Trick Room, a lot of the time, um, I'll set up Trick Room with Kofagugas. Maybe in two turns, I'll have Destiny bonded, um, with Kofagugas, and he goes down, and then bring in S Cavalier, and S Cavalier can wipe the floor with people, and actually funny. I noticed some people boost their speed even more, even though they're in Trick Room. Um, is that just... I, I don't know why, honestly. I wouldn't do that because Trick Room already makes you go last, no matter how fast you are. And the faster you get, of course, the more last you go, depending on how many Pokemon are in the field, like if it's a double battle. But um, that's it, really. Uh, let's play some. Quit talking. Connecting, searching. Alright. So. Greninja. McGeehan is a problem. I would like to save Charizard for the Mega. Oh, they forfeited. Never mind. <laughs> they forfeited. Anyway. Let's try again. And hopefully this time they won't forfeit before the first turn comes. Hmm. Alright. So. There's Ferrothorn, which I have a feeling will they'll send that first. Just set up rocks um, because of the Charizard. And again, I would like to get that rid of. The, um, the Tornadus Therian. Tornadus Therian. Is a problem, and I don't really have a way to get rid of it unless maybe Cofagrigus Destiny One. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I will set up, go out with Charizard. Hopefully, okay. He sent Lo Tornadus there, and I was hoping he wouldn't. I was hoping maybe he might lead off with Ferrothorn, but of course that's the better play to go with a Pokemon that they would wouldn't expect. Hmm. is interesting. I don't want to stay in because he'll definitely have Stone Edge or something like that. Hmm, Escavalier, I'm guessing. I'm thinking of going into Escavalier or Tapu Lele. Or even Victory Bell at the moment. No, I'll go into. You've got more defenses. Yeah. Alright, I'm going into Escavalier. Hopefully, this is the right play to make. Just thinking, because an Earthquake will do quite a lot. I'm going to set up Swords Dance. Try and set up... Okay, he switched. And he took damage from the Rocky Helmet, which is good. That's what the Rocky Helmet is there for, to punish physical attackers. Heat Ran. Drill Run. Magma Storm. Damn it. <laughs> I thought I would be able to absolutely get rid of this Heatran. But of course he's faster. Setting up a trick room. And then I'll probably... Um, nasty Plot. Or, if he is... If I'm really low, I'll just Destiny Bond. And I'll get this Heatran over and done with. Let's turn on timer, because I don't have forever to wait. He's really making us wait, isn't he? <laughs> Does he know that I don't have forever? Like, I can't just waste time like this. Anyway, let's talk about strategy for a minute, just while he's doing this. Um, so, I've discussed what I'm going to do. Both both the Scizor and the um, Ferrothorn, I would like to just get rid of with Charizard or something. The Breloom isn't really a problem. He can... He, he can... He has Toxic Heal, probably has Toxic Heal, or Mind of Technician, I don't know. But if he has Toxic Heal, that shouldn't be a problem, because 
Okay. That's good. Alright. And I'm hurt. So, I'm gonna Destiny Bond here. Hopefully he used an attacking move. Yes, he did. Alright. Heat Ran is down, which is quite good. Even though I've lost Carthagrigus, I wasn't going to win that battle there. Now, I have a feeling he's going to go out with Landorus, but I think mean, Tapu Lele is my best shot at defeating the Landorus. I'm thinking about a victory bell, but at the moment... Who's, who's got the lowest speed stat? Alright, it's Tapu Lele. And the Intimidate doesn't mean anything because... Okay, never mind, Trick Room's... Oh, Trick Room's still there. Alright. I want to set up, but at the same time I have a feeling... I'm going to set up, because Trick Room has three more turns. Unless he goes into Ferrothorn, which I have a feeling he will. Tapu Fini. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What can I do here? Water Fairy. I was hoping he would go into Ferrothorn, actually, because I have Focus Blast, which would be pretty sweet right now. Uh, I'm going to go for a Psychic. Okay, that did a lot, and... I am not dead because I was a special attack. Okay. I'm feeling good about this battle specifically. This 1v1. Hopefully he won't switch. He probably will. Probably into a Ferrothorn or something. But I'm feeling optimistic about this. Okay, Ferrothorn. Okay. That's fine. He doesn't know I have Focus Blast. And his special defense is dropping. This is awesome. Hopefully this Focus Blast hits. As if it does, that'd be huge. Would be in the game. Let's go! That's good. Minus special defense drop, then an. Ooh, okay, awesome focus blast hitting. Wow. Psychic. Because. Yeah, that's super effective. I feel like I'm back in the game, honestly. Okay, he's trying to set up. But he's, he's got a focus sash. I might be dead. This might be the end of it. If you can hear me tapping my computer, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm thinking. So I said, tend to tap things. Um, I'm going to go for another psychic. Okay, I'm asleep now, damn it. Hmm. I hope... He's not toxic. Well, he, I hope he's toxic heal because toxic heal at the moment would be very good for me because I can easily KO him, and he. I don't want him to start using bullet seed. Interesting. All right. This puts me in a peculiar situation. In which I feel like I should go into Charizard. But at the same time, I think that's my mum. My mum just got home, guys. I will be back in a second. Alright, guys. Charizard is. That is a lot. I'm gonna go Mega and Air Slash. Just try and outspeed. Mark Punch. Damn it. <laughs> And that missed. Oh. This is annoying. He definitely has technician. Breloo, you are an annoying smart man. Go for a Z hypnosis. Try and make him fall asleep. Oh. Dead hypnosis. Oh, come on. This Bray Loom. Why is it so fast? Damn it. If it wasn't so fast, we'd be good. Now, I heal. 
Haha. <laughs> You thought you were being smart, but I have a strength sap. Victory bell. Yeah, you try, you try doing that. I regain all my health, and you lose. C. What does C mean? I think he's from another country. We are back in the game, boys. We are back in the game. I say that, but I don't think I am actually in the game. Nope, I'm definitely not in the game. Let's try and strength sap again. Ooh. Good thing is, these are very strong physical attackers, meaning I get all my health back pretty much immediately. So how much, how much attack does... or have never mind I spelt it wrong anyway um I'm gonna go for a sleep powder Oh, never mind. Anyway. GG. Alright. We have time for one more battle. Um, let's have a look. Which team will I use? That's a good question. And it's going to be this one. This team is a pretty simple one. Um, this Mew I designed myself. So pretty much what it is, um, Mew, Leftovers, and Synchronize. You need Synchronize. Yeah, that's Mew's only ability, so that's fine. Toxic and Heal Well, you need both of those moves. Um, Calm Mind, you can switch it out for Bulk Up. Um, if you want to be have a more physical Mew. Um, and Psychic can be switched out for um, Zen Headbutt, of course, a physical Psychic type attack. Toxic. This is mainly for magic bounce Pokemon. They are very annoying to deal with. And a lot of the time, like, um, Mega Sableye. Sableye, they have Recover, or some sort of recovery. So, pretty much what you do, Toxic, but their magic bounce will bounce it back at you. But with your Synchronize, it synchronizes them and gives them Toxic. Magic bounce Pokemon can't deflect Synchronized um, status conditions. So that's very good. Heal Bell, of course, so that you can heal yourself from the Toxic and, of course, the rest of your team. Carmine, um, just for setup and, uh, of course, last move, I said you can switch it out um, depending what uh, how offensive you want your Mew. Next up is a Drapion, Acupressure, um, Black Sludge, just to regain health. Keen Eye. Um... So accuracy can't be ignored. It now has the sniper ability. Anyway, so acu acu acupressure is very good. I have used it before um, and won many battles. From looking at the stat, the only stat that's really bad is its HP stat. And 70 base HP is actually pretty good. Um, so all of the stats all around are very high. So you can tell that this Pokemon is good with acupressure where you can boost a random stat and it, it's pretty much helpful. Also a mixed attacker just because you need that sort of um, you don't know what um, acupressure is going to boost so you need to be ready if it boosts uh, attack, special attack. Moving on, um, x with Choice Specs and Scrappy, Boom Burst Absolute nuke. Choice Specs, Scrappy. Boom Burst is an absolute nuke, as I mentioned. I haven't talked about this. Um, 140 base power, 100% accurate, no side effects whatsoever. Boom Burst is a lovely move. Then Fire Blast, Fire Blast, Extra Sensory, and Ice Beam are just, um, just coverage. Moving on, we have a, a special Ember. And not because he's special, not because he's my favorite Pokemon. 
yes, Ember and the whole Tepic line are my favorite, my favorite Pokemon. Anyway, so the reason he is special is because he is a special, special attack invested Ember. So when seasoned battlers, let's just say, will see Ember and they think he's gonna be physical because of um like reckless and wild charge, and flare blitz. You can and even. 123 is a high attack stat, but Ember functions as well as, as uh, functions functions as a special attacker just as well as it does a physical attacker. Um, so leftovers are just there to regain health. There is Scald just for coverage, and you and Ember has such good coverage. Honestly, you know Pokemon has good coverage when when moves that are super effective to it can be learned by it. You know what I mean? It's like Scald, for example. Hidden Power Ice, um, things like uh, Landorus, Thurin, Garchomp, because Ember is a fire type, they will stay in, which uh, leaves them open for me to Hidden Power Ice them, absolutely get rid of them. Flamethrower and Focus Blast, um, both stab, stab moves. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Braviary, uh, Tree Scarf, Defiant, um... U turn superpower brave bird retaliate, um, pretty pretty normal, not too different. Here we have Glalie and Mega Glalie, with um, it says inner focus, but when Mega evolved, it has the refrigerate ability, which refrigerate ability, which means all normal moves become ice and have a one point two times at boost. So there's body slam and explosion. Explosion is good like a destiny bond sort of except it doesn't kill them it's it's good when um when you're losing and you just want to explode um so get some damage off before you go anyway that's the team let's use it before and then we will end i have too many teams jesus christ where is it here we are and we'll end it at there connecting searching okay We'll do a battle after this. Having a look at these two, I have a feeling I'm going to get really annoyed with them. Let's go with Drapion. This Eevee is going to be an EVMZ or something like that, and then it's going to baton pass. Oh, wow. How fitting. <laughs> that's actually really good, honestly. Ooh, attack. That's good as well. Alright, Eevee. Let's use a poison jab. Wrecked. Okay, this will be easy, because Hypno. Alright. X Scissor. Get this over and done with. He leaves. How interesting. But I'm faster, and he didn't even attack me, so he forfeited. Let's do another battle, shall we? Alright. Mimikyu will be annoying. Mega Latios will be annoying as well. If it's Mega, I think it will be. Greninja and Zygarde. Type of Coco I'm not too worried about. Hmm. I don't know what I want to go into. Let's start with Drapion. Actually, you know what? Let's think that decision through. And it has been accepted. We're going to lead with Drapion. And he leads with a Greninja. I'm going to act pressure here. Start setting up. Because I can't see this Greninja doing a lot to us. Ice Beam, it's protein, alright, and that did a lot. Too much, I would say. This Greninja. It's annoying. I think it's Choice Specs, because I, that, even though it's Stab, I don't think it should have done that much. Honestly. Let's just Poison Jab. I don't know. Still Frozen, alright. He was faster anyway, so I wouldn't have been able to do much. Oh, 
So we're gonna go with a boom burst from Xcloud. Just try and try and nuke it. Cause Okay, hopefully this won't do a lot. Okay, it didn't do too much, that's good. He's done. He wouldn't have survived a boom burst from an Xcloud. I don't really have to explain how strong boom burst is when it is a stab. When it is stab, it um, is boosted by choice specs, and it has one forty base power and one hundred percent accuracy. Um, looking at that, I think I would like to go into Ember for the sole purpose as he's a fire. Uh, he's a steel type, and I'm a fire type, and cross chop. Critical hit. Damn it. I can't go for a toxic Mew because he's steel type. I can go for a setup Mew though. It's times like these when I wish I when when I wish this Mew was a bulk up Mew, not a car mind. Because setting up a bulk up right now would be very good. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna toxic. Get him out of the corn for us. He just that did nothing. Okay. Okay, a car just went past. I'm sorry if you heard that. And I why did I toxic? I wasn't even looking. Jesus Christ. Let's calm mind again. I'm gonna go for a psychic. Get it over and done with. And he's extreme speed. Ooh, did nothing. And that did Nothing. Oh, well, okay. He's going down anyway. I'm going to use another car man just because... Just again, never mind. Oh, I'm talking about killing him anyway. I should have... I should not have gone for another car man. I see where I should have... Where I went wrong there. I'm going for an, a fire blast. What's the point of having coverage moves? Okay, I understand the point of having coverage moves, but like... Honestly, I'm getting destroyed. I'm, I swear I am better, better, better than this, honestly. You know what? Let's go for an explosion, why not? He's dead, but like... <coughs> and I was fast, I'm, I'm annoyed now. Anyway. And what, what, his name was Grenindab, anyway. Why could I lose to a guy called Grenindab? Okay guys, so that is it from me. Um, that's all I've got for you guys today. Um, Leave a like if the, in the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.